Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and just about a week back, Dally 2 was made available for the public to check out. Now this one was first announced a couple years ago and it blew people's mind with the ability to create art from text. But since Dally 2 was first announced, it sort of lost a bit of its steam because it has competition now. So obviously Dally is out there, and we're going to look at all three of these options. So Dally 2 is uh, available for you to check out. Uh, apparently from the comments of my video about the release, it's not available in all countries unfortunately, but if your country is available, you can check it out for free. On top of that, there is also Stable Diffusion. Now, Stable Diffusion has a lot going for it by the fact that it has actually got uh, a free and open source implementation if you have a beefy enough system to run the models, but there are alternatives there as well. We'll get back to the open source nature of it as well, but they've also got an online, easy to use version with a free trial. That's what we're going to look at in this video today. And then on top of that, there is the plucky new underdog Mid Journey. Now, all of these are available in a commercial manner, uh, so in terms of pricing, it does get a little bit confusing, but uh, for Dally, uh, you get 50 free credits for your first month, and then 15 will come back each month thereafter, and you can buy additional credits. It works out to $15 for 115 credits. Uh, in terms of Dream Studio, this is the online version of Stable Diffusion. Uh, it works off of credits as well. Uh, the pricing gets a little bit confusing based off which features you want to work with and so on. Uh, and also there is Mid Journey, which works off of more of a subscription model where you can do up to 200 minutes of GPU time per month, uh, $10 per month in that particular case, and this gives you the ability to be private for an additional $20 a month. We'll look at what this means in just a second because Mid Journey's approach is much different than both Stable Diffusion and Dally 2. Now, I did mention earlier on, Stable Diffusion is also an open source project, so if you are willing to bring it down, uh, build a model yourself, you, where you probably want to start is the Stable Diffusion Beginner's Guide on Reddit. It's got all of the various different options that are out out there. I'm going to show you Dream Studio over the free trial because it's the easiest way to go about it. So if you just want to go ahead and check it out, just head to the Dream Studio webpage that we're going to use here. But as you can see, there are a ton of tools and options and different training models and open source projects and such. Uh, there is definitely more work involved in this, but some of these also make it incredibly easy for you to work with. But if you do not have a GPU, uh, you're going to need to use one of the alternatives. But it is an open source option. And this one, if you are completely free, is the way to go. So Stable Diffusion is available in source form, but we're not going to look at it that way. All right, so let's start things off with Dally. Now, I'm going to actually do the same set of queries across all of these, and we're going to see what the results look like. And the queries I'm going to work with are from here. So I got a couple of different ones I set up. Now, coming up with these seed queries is very much a skill in itself, a skill I personally do not have. Uh, but let's see what it does with each one. One of those things also to be aware of with all three of these systems, if there is a commercial side of things, like so if there's someone you can sue, there are limited in place do around violence or around uh, using someone else's likeness whereas some of the open source options that you can download and build yourself remove those limitations so do be aware of that so if you're using this to make like deep fake kind of stuff you can't in most cases, except for if you're building it yourself. So I'm gonna start off with a cyberpunk bar populated by cyborgs in an anime style, and we will see what Dally does with that. Now, obviously there is a bit of a load time. I'm only gonna show you the load time on the first go of it, so you have an idea of what it's capable of. You can see some of the results I have done in the past. Now, none of these were actually, none of the samples we've done have done with anything. So you can see it came up with four results of a cyberpunk bar with cyborg population. Not bad. I actually, I can appreciate every single one of them. Now let's see what the other ones do with the same query. So here we are. This is Dream Studio Lite. And I'm just going to basically go ahead. We'll paste that down there and we will dream of it. You see here, you got other options, uh, various different ways of modeling it. Uh, you can uh, have it create multiple different images if you wish. So in that case, I only generated one image. Let's do four so that we've got comparables. Now do keep in mind, each one of these is chewing up some of my credits. And if you add more options for upscaling, etc., you are going to get uh, more credits chewed away. So I I'm using my free credits to show you guys how these guys perform. All right, here we go. So here are uh, four cyborg pump. Now, interestingly enough, they didn't add the cyborgs. So I like the bars better. If I was using this for concept art, I like the results that um, uh, Dream Studio and Stable Diffusion managed here. Uh, but this one got it more right in terms of understanding the language. It got the cyborgs, but I like these results a little bit better. So now let's going to head on over and check out uh, the other option over here. Now, Mid Journey is done using... Um, 
Discord. So interesting enough, you got to be using Discord. You sign up, you agree to the terms and uh, terms and agreements, and then you head on over to uh, a newbie room. So pick one of the newbie rooms, and then it is a matter of I'm trying to remember. Is it Dream? Hmm. Give me one second. I forget what the command is. No, it's Imagine. So what we do is do the command Imagine and then you paste in your prompt. Now, the first time you do this, you are going to get some prompts for um, yeah, having it uh, agree to the terms and services. And for me, it didn't run. So once I did that one, uh, it, uh, it kind of just spun off into space. It, it lost my request. It didn't do anything. Now, you can see here, it is spewing out the results. So again, I'm going to show you all of the first ones in real time as it's calculated so you could compare what the performance is like for each one. Uh, so far, I would say uh, that... A Dream Studio was fastest, Dali was next, and then uh, this is definitely the slowest option as it is still building in. The other thing you're going to notice about uh, Mid Journey is it's it's public. So uh, if you don't want people seeing what you're doing, you're going to need to get a, a private instance of it. Now, when this is done, you're going to get some uh, commands underneath, uh, so you could do things 100%. This is the fast version, and here is the result. So let's take a look at it. Uh, yeah, I, 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 see, I may argue that I think I like these results better than all the rest of them. So you get commands here for upscaling and so on. So if you need a higher resolution version, you pick the version you like and you can upscale it and it will do it for you. Here you can see the results there. So again, cyberpunk bar populated by cyborgs. This one got the cyborgs right. Uh, it got the bar down. I do like the aesthetic it came with. So here is the alternative and then the, oops, wrong direction. So Dali. Uh, this is Stable Diffusion's results, and then this is Midsummer result. I, I actually, I'm cool with all of them. I'm very much a different approach. So now let's run through uh, the other alternatives. So again, you can just see what each one does. And again, everything you're seeing here, you can check out with a free account within limits. So we're burning up credits for each one of these. Let's go check. Uh, we're going to go back to Dali. Uh, so Dali. And we will do the next uh, concept art. So this is, like, if you're looking for just ideas for something to model in your game potentially, this is where these services could really shine. So here we're doing a sci-fi fighter with four wings. Here we'll do the same thing uh, and create that one. And let's head on over to here and we will do imagine and then the exact same thing. All right, so here we go. Uh, Dali is done. Its results are awful. I hate every single one of these. I'm not a fan of any of them. Again, uh, it comes down to the command you put in. You're going to want to play around with it. You also, almost all of these tools have an ability to pick one and use it as a seed for further results. You can also upload images as your kind of uh, starting point. Here is the next one. I'm not really liking anything. Let's hope that Mid Journey nailed it here. So Mid Journey results there, 56% complete. All right, let's pause while it finishes. Now, I would say of all of them, Mid Journey nailed this one. I, I don't really like the other results we got over here. Nothing here stands out to me, and nor does anything here. So I think definitely this round, Mid Journey took it. So that is for just straight up concept style art. Let's see something a little bit more specific. Now we're going to look at this as literally an art generator. So we're going to create something in a pixel art style. Let's say we needed to create icons for our toolbar. This is something that this could really shine for. So let's create a pixel art floppy disk that we could use for, say, the save logo or something to that effect. Uh, and again, let's start with Dali. Go ahead and paste. So this is a blue and white floppy disk in pixel art style, such as if I was creating a game from scratch logo. Now, I've done a disk in the past. I actually liked the results, part of my inspiration for this one. Now, let's do the same thing over here with Stable Diffusion. And finally, let's head on over here to... Let's imagine... A blue and white floppy disk. All right, so head on back over here. This is awful. <laughs> Everything here so far is awful, and I don't know if it's going to get any better, uh, but that is definitely a fail. So Stable Diffusion did not like that search query. Uh, Dali is bang on, so I could realistically, I could do a 180 degree rotate and throw that into a toolbar and immediately start using it for my art style. So then you can start, you know, obviously making your icons out of the similar approach. So that is an area where Dali definitely won in my humble opinion so far. And let's see how things are going over here. Uh, is my, is it being generated yet? There it is. Uh, okay. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> so this one is, is kind of usable, uh, not really doing much for me. So I, I don't think we need to wait for this one to finish, which by the way, uh, when mid journey finishes, it pings you. Uh, so there we go. So you can actually come in here and see, uh, your result. It tells you, you know, well, we're done here. They are. Uh, I don't like any of those, but this is definitely better, uh, result wise. So Dally nailed this one. That one I would use in a heartbeat. Uh, this is a, a bloody mess. I don't know uh, what Stable Diffusion did on this one, but that prompt definitely did not work with Stable Diffusion. Now, again, one thing to keep in mind is a lot of the skill here is getting the prompt down. Uh, so you could probably come up with another one that would work better uh, with each particular version. So don't judge the service based off the results. I'm just showing you uh, four ideas that I came up with and showing you them in real time. So let's do the last one here. This is just more of a pie in the sky. Let's see what it can do with it kind of thing. Uh, so we'll go ahead. We'll imagine that one. This is a sad woman riding on a dinosaur on a beach at sunset of a burning sky shot with a wide angle lens. So a lot of details in there, a lot going on. Let's go back to Dali. We will do the same thing with that one. And then finally, let's imagine it over here in mid journey. So imagine boom. So again, what you're also seeing is everybody else's results too. So if you need that privacy, you're going to want to um, not do this. And again, uh, the, the copyrights on all these are pretty similar. It's one of those things to keep in mind. All right, so here we go. A sad woman on a dinosaur on a beach at sunset, burning sky shot with a wide angle lens. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really impressed with this. This one, actually, I like the sky. Uh, I like the dinosaur. Uh, um, yeah, that's probably the best result of this batch. Let's head on over here. This one went a little bit more realistic and uh, wow, kind of, kind of disappointing. Uh, actually, I, I may just be picking, uh, things that do not showcase well. Uh, but I am, I am definitely, uh, not impressed with that particular result. Uh, how do I go back? All right. I don't know. So here are the results we got out of that. And again, none of them did much for me. That bing in the background though, that was mid journey and mid journey, I think probably came up with one of the better results here, but I'm not really loving any of them if I'm honest. So it may have been a very bad prompt to check with, uh, but again, uh, this is generally, you're not, you're not going to replace an artist probably as I illustrated from these results, but if you're doing things again for concept art, I could see it immediately. And I think where, uh, this technology is immediately useful in my humble opinion, where it really shined was this, this result right here. If you are basically hiring an act an artist on something like Fiverr in the past to do things like icon sets for you, I think that's almost a thing of the past. Now, uh, this, uh, result is pretty much what I would have drawn by hand exactly as I wanted it. And as you'll notice, if I head on back over here to mid journey, some of the results other people are making are, are definitely showing up better. Uh, so here we get to someone did something similar to me, a fighter jet with bird wings, uh, much more specific in terms of the uh, requirements here. It seems to really nail these styles, uh, for sure, certain art styles. Uh, but, uh, it's not. Again, great for character concept art. So here's a Mafia Don, a number of different paintings for it. Very good. I like uh, those results there. Uh, this kind of stuff is absolutely amazing. Uh, but as you saw from some of my searches, uh, the results are not always, uh, I don't know what I would say, good. <laughs> uh, so again, there were bits of it here. Now, the thing is here, you're going to uh, try and try and try again. You can refine it. You can go into an image. You could basically say, nope, don't like it. Make me something else. And you're just going to kind of keep going at it and going at it and going at it and letting uh, it just kind of keep working. So we're going to give, here's another iteration of it. Now, this is where uh, it would really shine if you come back over here and you go with the uh, the open source parts of Stable Diffusion. As, as I mentioned earlier on, it is available uh, on GitHub. There are a number of different models there. Some of them allow you to do things that other ones do not allow. Some of them require a smaller amount of memory. When I first grabbed the first release of, uh, I think it was from Hugging Face, their first version of it, uh, when I cloned it, 
uh, it was too much for my eight gigabyte GPU, but there are versions out there uh, that you can train with four gigabytes as well. And the nice thing is if it's running locally on your own machine, uh, obviously you're gonna need a GPU and the hardware to do it, but then you could just iterate over and over and over and over again. You're not burning credits like I am uh, with these particular, these different versions of things. And you can just try it until you get a result you like. So here is my second result with the woman, my sad woman on a beach. Oh, so this one actually set the dinosaur on fire. This dinosaur apparently just sat on the woman. Uh, it, it's a mixed bag. You're going to get different results. Now, again, the thing that you're going to realize going forward, the prompts for these are going to be the skill uh, in the future. But I do see areas where this could be useful uh, for concept art. You can spit out something from AI faster than you can draw it yourself. And if you need to do 20, 30, 40 iterations to get something good, you're still gonna beat the speed of the majority of artists out there. And if you're artistically limited, uh, yeah, definitely value in that regard. And we're, this is where, again, from my working with Dali, uh, for pixel art stuff, especially if you need to create like icons immediately today, they just do staggeringly good jobs in my humble opinion. Uh, so uh, it, it's a mixed bag what you're gonna get. The three options out there, the three main leading options that we looked at today, DALI 2, Stable Diffusion, which we looked at in the form of Dream Studio, which is their public release that you saw. If you wanna start the easiest way using credits, Dream Studio is the way to go. And then of course we got Mid Journey, which is hosted out of the Discord server. You gotta basically uh, sign up for it that way. Those are uh, the three major options out there. All have varying different results. Now, again, I don't claim that the results we got today were amazing, but I also will tell you probably as much my fault as the, uh, the generator's fault, but this is nascent technology, so you're not always going to get amazing results out of this. And it's one of those things that traditional artists can look at and go, phew, at least for now. As we've got, you know, programmers have, uh, code generators coming at us that are AI assisted. Artists have art generators that are AI assisted. This is definitely going to be part of the future, but it's interesting to see which part that ultimately is. So let me know which of the three you actually like the best. Uh, have you worked with um, stable diffusion locally and, and have you got results you liked? Uh, and let me know what you think in general of the whole idea of AI generated art. And I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.